How to handle actions on your sign request when they get updated or when they get created. Of course, we uh, we use the full power of uh, of Salesforce automation to uh, to let you handle those kind of uh, status changes or updates. We use, for instance, in this case, the process builder, and we're going to create a, a process builder on our sign request. So let's go to our sign request. And we want to use this uh, uh, process builder every time there is a sign request uh, update. So when the ch status changes from instance from pending uh, to finished, this means the, it's actually signed. Uh, rejected means that it's been rejected by one of your signers. So uh, somebody is not so happy about it and it rejected it. You might want to take an action on that. Uh, evoke, revoked means that your uh, uh, from Salesforce somebody has revoked the uh, the sign request. Uh, expired means of course yeah it's out of date it's not uh, valid anymore so uh, we set the status to expired it's uh, all of these actions can be of course be uh, uh, handled by a process builder a trigger a flow whatever you name it everything is possible we uh, make sure you can use the full power of salesforce automation on that one let's add an action on finished create a new process builder i'm going to call it uh, action on, uh, on sign, not sign request, but sign request. Okay, when the process starts, when a record uh, changes, save, add an object, it's gonna be sign request. Uh, only when, uh, when the record is uh, created or edited, yes, save. I'm gonna add a criteria, say it's has to be finished. Now I'm gonna filter on the field status, of course. I choose this field, and the, this one has to be uh, equal to finished. Okay. Now, when this is done, we're gonna add an action, and we're gonna uh, update a record, and the rec and we're gonna call this action, for instance, uh, um, closed one. Because this is what you want to do when the, uh, the signed document comes back. We want to uh, select a record related to the sign request. That's why we have created this lookup towards the uh, uh, the opportunity from the sign request. Uh, it's going to be the opportunity. We do not um, select a record to update. We're going to select the opportunity. Choose. And now we're gonna go for the stage. That's the, uh, the stage um, is gonna be set to closed one. Save. That's it. That's our uh, process builder. Of course, you can add now as well items for uh, uh, for pending, for rejected, revoked, any of these statuses. Let's activate this one. Yes, I wanna activate it. And let's actually do a signing. Let's finish the signing end to end and let's see that our status gets uh, updated correctly. Okay, let's go for it. Click the button. So it's now sent for signing. Let's take a look if I have received an email. And it's always funny in uh, these uh, real-time demos, of course, but uh, I've already got the, got the email. It's right here. And from here, I'm going to say I want to sign this document. Everything looks okay. I declare that I've read the entire document and I want to start signing. And I'm going to go for a manual signing. Next. So now it's... That's my other graph. Click the next button. The document is now being signed. It's going to be digitally signed, so it cannot be changed anymore. Everything is now uh, as, uh, uh, encrypted and, uh, and locked and, and whatever. So it's digitally signed. It's finished. Everything is done. If we take a look at the sign requests here, we will see that this one is finished. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, the latest one is just been updated, and if we take a look at our sign, uh, sorry, at our opportunity, 
we see that it's now closed one. So we have now automated the actions to take on our opportunity because we've gotten a signed document. And if you want to see how this signed document looks, well, in the configuration, we said that we want to add it as a file. So we can just see the preview of the file and you see my autograph right here together with all of the information about when it was signed and who has signed it. Okay, so process builder automation, check. We have now easily done our update, our configuration via the process builder on our sign request and our opportunity.